military goods of all descriptions being loaded for ports all over the world. If this were 1942, 55% of those goods would arrive at their destination useless because of damage incurred en route. Now, thanks to export packers, it's another story. Losses on current military shipments, packed by the experts, like Jerome Gould of Brooklyn on the right, have been reduced by as much as 95%. Here we see Signal Corps equipment getting the master touch. Special machines seal the aluminum foil wrapping. More than half of Gould's current work in packing everything from safety pins to power plants is devoted to government shipments. After getting the word from Washington, it took Gould only 48 hours to put operations back on a wartime basis. A vacuum machine sucks out the last remnants of air that might rust valuable machinery. Then the package is completely sealed. Formerly, shippers felt that transporting something like this delicate machine was simply a matter of putting it into a carton or box. The vast losses in transit during World War II showed how wrong they were. And as usual, where there was a pressing need, a new industry sprang into being to meet it. The export packers saw to it that goods were created to withstand the roughest treatment, assuring that an ever-increasing percentage of defense shipments arrive intact. America's strength lies in its ability to produce the machines required for its defense. But those machines can only do their job if they are put to work at the right spot. The export packers help send them safely to the places where they're needed.